what we plan on doing is taking everything out, don't we? And then get rid of all the, get, get the brush and just get rid of all the like, muddy bits and pieces and just give it a general good old tidy, really. Channel. Welcome to Tuesday. Bit of a mental morning this morning. We've overslept, um, so rushing around trying to get everything done. Um, it's good because he was off obviously this morning as well, which helps. Oh, the lagging. Yeah, the lagging, yeah, till about half six, quarter to seven we got up this morning. So, anyway, this one is give a big hello to Daggy. It's her birthday tomorrow, but Happy because. birthday for tomorrow. But because we're 24 hours behind, it will be Wednesday, so... so it be on your day, so happy birthday. Happy birthday, hope you're having a really great day, and get lots and lots of nice presents. I'll celebrate and, with a yum yum. Yeah, so what we're going to do is, we'll leave um, Daggy's um, channel link down below, so feel free to check out her channel. Anyway, this morning, I was, like I said, we were just running around, um, so I was just finishing off this breakfast, which is just there. Uh, so we'll say hello to everyone on YouTube. Good morning. Where are you? Just there, aren't you? So he's just finished off his breakfast. Um, like I said this morning, he has got doctors final results of his blood test he had done last week. Been there to the gym for an hour, and then we're going to sort out the garage. A job we've been a job we've been saying we want to do for, for ages, but we just never got round to it. So he says, right, today we've got to sort the garage out. So yeah, that is our plan for today. the gym I'm gonna jump in the shower now because I feel all sweaty I didn't fancy having a um, shower at the gym maybe when it's all new showers complete on a new part of the gym I might also soon no great news from the doctors all of his blood tests will come back clear which is absolutely fabulous news so once I've had a shower we are gonna tackle the next job the messy garage this is our messy garage because it's rather messy I think we just use like a dumping ground don't we really mm -hmm. uh, Still can't believe we broke that yesterday, you know? Mm. The laptop. Things have to get their stuff on there to get to transfer the stuff off of there, aren't you? Mm. So, yep, yeah, so this is what we're trying to do. Try and tidy as much as we can. Obviously, you've got all the cardboard boxes. They can go out tomorrow because I think the recycling's going tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, they can go out with the recycling tomorrow, so that's good. We'll get them recycled. Um, all, the, all the bits and pieces here need sorting out. And then what have we got here? Obviously the old doors, where well, took the old doors off downstairs. And then we've got some worktops here left over from when we had the kitchen done. But we're going to keep those because I said in the future we plan on close, um, breaking up the door as a door in the kitchen and putting more worktop space along there. So that would be ideal for that so we can keep that for that. Got the barbecue there for hopefully we get some more summer. But yeah, so it just needs a good old general tide yet basically really. Um, obviously I'm not going to Go too far, well, so I'm not going to go too much in here by myself because my friends are in here somewhere and I did not plate them. Oh, there's also his old um, tuker boxes for his crafty things. He went through a phase liking these, but then when he started sending the same ones over again, he lost interest, didn't he? So um, they can go around his crafty thing in the living room, actually. And he remembers old Topsy and Tim. That's an old video, look, Topsy and Tim. These are all the old VH, rest of the VHS tapes we've got. What we plan on doing is taking everything out, don't we? And then getting rid of all the, get, get the brush and just get rid of all the 
like muddy bits and pieces and just give it a general good old tidy really um obviously in the future we do plan on a go back in, in the disintro room you can't store anything outside today because Raining. Oh, is it raining? Okay. Yeah. We'll, have to, we'll just have to store it all in one corner and then push it down to it that way, I think, then, if it's raining. Yeah. thought what I was doing was sticking. Um, that's not Simon's jacket. It obviously doesn't fit him. So, anyway, what we plan on doing was putting all, obviously Christmas stuff all on the floor. 12 years. You tell me that doesn't fit him. Well, I should fit it, mean, surely. I us take a see if I can fit it. Anyway, so I was saying, so what we plan on doing was putting all Christmas stuff there, which is on put here, and get off the floor. And, that, and then hopefully try and get more space and don't know it's just you can't tell me everyone has a clean and tidy garage you know i just want a bit ill i know you just want a bit ill i just want a bit ill skipping and bit ill yep i bet some people buy christmas stuff each year and just bin it and just buy new and the following year i bet they do oh. thing is we can get rid of those doors now that's why you know what i mean mm. our christmas sacks so you were saying? You get the Christmas stuff out already, eh? <laughs> yeah, what we love we do. This is the way it's carrying on. Four months it'll be all in the shop again. Oh no, it's quite scary. It's quite scary then how things can work, isn't it? Because obviously now you've got Easter out the way. Um, next holiday is May half term. Yeah. Then we'll be back, Linz. Next half term. You get into the summer holidays, that's when you start seeing the Christmas stuff. You again. do, September, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Which one car factory starts selling all their Christmas cars and stuff. And hopefully, this year. obviously, there's Ben's bike. Can I try and get Ben out on his bike a bit more, aren't we? So, get a look. It's looking tight through there already, I think. Hmm? It is bad when you've got these, you have, you have to have these ties put on the side of the house to keep the wall up. I know. That's just what they were put there for. It were, yeah. It's through those because trees. The silly people at the council didn't understand that them trees out there were causing the house to move. And if I'm gonna say what trees I mean, so these are the trees I'm on about. These ones here, one, two, three, there's four of them. Come around that size there. Oh no, that's the cause in the house to move. We had, well, we obviously, when we had this extension built, um, we had a big massive crack in the garage floor, didn't we? Because originally, this is where the back door used to be. This here was part of the old garage here, and we, this had a small extension bit on here. But it was just, was it just here where this wall was? We had that big massive crack, didn't we? Yeah. It's caused, it's caused by those trees out there, which I showed you. Um, we had to uh, expect to come out, didn't we, from the council? No, don't worry, your house isn't moving. You see, when the builders come out to do the thing, they realise the house is moving. So one of those trees out there, is it 10 tons of concrete, the second one? One of them is anyway. So, but yep. Yeah. See? Look how tidy that looks. <laughs> Guys, I've moved all the Christmas stuff onto the table there now. That's where it's going to stay now until December. And uh, I just want to show you the state of this floor in here because, you know, you, you can see there was, there was a. Up to there where that line is was where they had to uh, re concrete this floor because of uh, the massive crack that appeared because the crack that was here ran, ran, ran along that side of that wall because there used to be a an incove bit here in the garage where uh, there used to be a table and stuff and uh, basically that's where the toilet is now and uh, and I'll go over this side of the garage uh, where is it? If you look closely, just there, you can see daylight coming through the wall. It just shows you what them trees have done to this wall. Because basically that's why they've got these uh, wall supports on to hold the garage up, basically. You know, not in the right mind is, you know, who would build trees next to a blimmin' house? Who would put trees next to a house? It's just silly. So I'll show you again, look, you can see the daylight there, look, from near the camera. Nice. Well, I think I'll have to see, it's got those trees taken down. And then down there, you can see oh, nice. right, the wall, the way the wall dips, it, like it goes from there and down. The thing is, that's quite scary because that's in line level when the tree roots of that tree. Yeah, crazy. Well, you know, you make a mistake of buying a property, you know it's going to have faults, then, you know, what can we do about it? You know, that's the way it is. 
Anyway, we've got that far now. We're going to have some lunch now, and then we're going to tackle this side. all this mess here. Because Sammy's got his train table under there, but I don't want that back in the living room because there's no room for it. This is a problem. We need that extra space. So this is this. I think this. I think to be honest, I think this is a job to do and save up for next few years and get this converted into a room. Yeah. Stephen said it's lunchtime, and we've got some um, bacon and cheese turnovers. They're really, really nice. Not good for you, but never mind. And then also got some of these hash brown fries. So these are really, really nice. Got these from Iceland, didn't we? Sammy saw them. Yeah. I, I think Sammy thought they were hash browns. And they're like hash browns with a chip rolling into one. So anyway, Sammy absolutely loves these. He's asked to get some more, so maybe we're in Banbury again. Might need to pop in twice and get a couple more packets of these. As you can see, it's looking a lot tidier in there now. A lot tidier. At least you can walk through properly now. Um, obviously, there's all our bits and pieces on there, like tools and all our carrier bags, etc., etc., on there, isn't right there? Got a few videos there. Found these out for Sammy to play with in the summer. Put in, especially these. Remember, didn't we buy these at the end of last summer? I think we've got. This is what I was actually looking for the other day and I couldn't find them. Got a magnetic bouncing bubble thing. You quite like those. This is what he will like. These things here, that's a crazy can alley thing. And we do is obviously it's like, just like you see at the seaside, don't all the cans and stuff, really? knock them off the shelf. But this time you can fill these with water. They'd be quite funny days. And they sound like absolutely love days. Um, what else got in here? Obviously that's one of our Christmas bits off up there. Oh look, got another Toys R Us bag up there to keep that done in. Mm. Momentum. Um, keep them all off the ground because obviously the garage gets loads of damp in it so it's just easier to keep them off the ground and then just this, this little area here to sort out well, I think we've finished past four now just waiting for the boys to come home from school they won't be very happy because it's raining and you can't get on this trampoline normally you come home from school let's go and shut out on there but we've had the phone call today he's not very happy again he's um been banging his ears screaming and shouting I don't know what's wrong with them because we've had the odd few days here anyway it's been banging but it hasn't been constant mm. only thing I can think of obviously because this classroom at school is a lot smaller than what he's used to so I don't think it's that because obviously Ben suffers from sensory overload and it can be quite noisy so I don't know if it's that I just don't know we'll see this pediatrician next week see if he can give us any answers but really really don't know the minute we're bent on we're stumped I don't think the school aren't really helping us though are they at the minute no, they just keep too busy complaining. They're just too busy complaining, keep giving him cow palm and stuff all the time. We know he's not in pain anywhere because um I see he's perfectly happy at home. Or maybe just was not, oh okay, the bus is here just now. But here was what I was saying because the bus just turned up. School says he's been head banging and stuff like that. I don't really know what to do with them. That's what I was saying, because he seems perfectly fine at home. I think to be honest with you, like I say, he's changed classroom, he's gone to a smaller class. And not only that there's no male carers helping this class. So to be honest, if they want to miss it, but I don't think that they can actually cope with him anymore. So I suppose, because also when he went up, there's no CSAs who you knew. So I don't think that's helped, but who knows what to do with Ben at the moment. Just having a bath phase with him at the minute. Sammy's come in the kitchen. Um, he's grabbed his drink. And you know, you've also got a fudge. And the dressing to Matt. And you're looking at your dressing to Matt, aren't you, as well? So, is that nice, sweet? Mm. Is that nice? Well. So here, uh, Ben's got his juice and he's got his rice cake as well. So, he went, <coughs> what's the time now? Half past four, so I'm just about to cook some tea. He's got post. Have you got a nurse and sweeter? You can open it. Can you get them, on? Can you get them out? Oh, what have you got? A new pop bag. You got a new pop bag. So I've been driving by Ben tonight on the vlog, isn't you, sweetheart? Um, he's been home now, what, two hours? And not really, not has he gone once for his ears and head banging. Let's see, he's got a smile on his face right there. Um, it's not once he's gone head banging looking like that. So seriously, what are you doing, Ben? It's got to be something at school he doesn't like. Um, question is, we don't know what. We're thinking it is definitely so essentially overlaid because we looked on the internet and some American doctor has noticed that of sensory overload, um, it could be that. Because also, children are non verbal, like Ben, they sometimes headbang to waveform of communication and also sensory, um, not sensory, but I mean like um, attention seeking because they know if they bang their ears, 
um, like at the care or something will go right into them, so they tend to do it. <laughs> Look, you're laughing now, aren't you? <laughs> hey. <laughs> so, yes, I do think it's a bit short of the base. But then we are going to definitely make an appointment for the dentist to just draw that out. But another thing maybe it could be thinking, we, we did have, um, I think it was this ear. We have pressure behind back of his ear. Um, maybe that's blocked again, we don't know. So we'll just see what we can do. All we can do is see what his paediatrician says next week. Anyway, guys, I want to say thanks for watching today. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And Facebook along the bottom. And you're also on Twitter as well. So that's it, for t that's it and we'll see you tomorrow for, for Wednesday. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye, Ben. Bye-bye, Ben. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.